and you know, I think this is what Pastor Jim Simbla was saying. I mean, mm-hmm. here's here's a guy that's been mightily used of the Lord in, in New York. He's pastor Brooklyn Tabernacle and great church and where God's doing great things. And and uh yet his own daughter, his own daughter, I mean, got walked away from the Lord. So knowing the Lord, loving the Lord doesn't mean that you're exempt from your children struggling. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think that one of the greatest things a mom or a dad can do is to learn to pray for their children, stand on those promises. You know, what you're saying is exactly what Pastor Jim Simbola said. He said, you know, he just took that word that God had given to him and he refused to let go. He refused to let go. Even though the circumstances look like there was no hope. That's right. And, and, and I think there's a lot of times when things look hopeless for us and, and what we need to do is realize that the Word of God is true and every man's a liar, no matter where it is, God's going to answer prayers. And you know, one of the great things for us has been this, that God has not only answered the prayers of our children, our son, our daughter, but also our grandchildren. I mean, what a joy. Talk about, uh, talk about a, uh, the joy of a mother on Mother's Day. I mean, to uh, have two grandchildren named after great uh, missionaries of the faith, Hudson Taylor and Amy Carmichael, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. who, who love God, and, uh, and they're a little bitty right now, but- you Almost know, one, five and almost three. three. And then we've got another one coming who, well, you know, June is like Christmas for us. <clears throat> you know, we, we have uh, all these birthdays in June, <clears throat> excuse me there, but we have all these birthdays in June, uh, and so we save all of our money from Christmas to June, and from June to Christmas, we save it again. But, but God has blessed us, and, and uh, I mean, we're at a good place in our lives right now to see our children, to see our grandchildren. I, I know there's going to be more struggles mm-hmm. and more problems. I mean, that's a part of life. But boy, God has proven faithful, hasn't he? You know, and he has, I mean, there's some things that I think that we've prayed for, even like we said before, our children were born. That, and one of the things we prayed for our children was not only that they'd come to know Christ, but that their spouses would know Jesus Christ yep. as their personal Lord and Savior. And both Kelly and Paula both have made that decision that that they want to give, they have given their life to Jesus Christ. And so, and it's neat because you can see that uh, that they can walk together as one that the Bible talks yep. about. I mean, Bo- we all Bo- have our Bo- problems. Both but... of our kids married way over their heads, just yeah. like their daddy. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> yeah, I married way over my it head. It works both and, ways. And the Lord just is blessed with uh, spouses who love the Lord and and, and I mean, I just, we have, we are so blessed, but those blessings didn't come without struggle. That's and right. I think that's what, what I want to communicate today mm-hmm. is that, uh, there's struggles, but God is a God who answers prayers. And, um, you know, uh, I think one of the great joys that I've had is learning some of my heritage mm-hmm. that, um, you know, I, I thought, okay, I'm a Christian. I'm starting off. It's going to be me and my family and we're going to serve the Lord. But I've, I've discovered that, man, I'm the answer to the prayers of my grandmother. That's right. And uh, so, you know, uh, and she died five years before I was ever born. I mean, it was 25 years after her death before God answered her prayers for her son, who was my dad. Mm. And, um, and, and it was through a grandson that she never met. So even after we're gone, God has stored those prayers in heaven for our children. And that's an amazing thing. And I, and I would say to the, again to the moms and dads out there that um, that if your children you've prayed for them and, and you've not seen those answered prayers, don't give up because we've prayed for people in our lives, friends and family, and it and sometimes it's taken 20, 25 years before God's answered that prayer. But He said that He is faithful. His word is true. He said that in in Jeremiah He said. I am the Lord thy God. Is there anything that's too difficult for me? And then he goes on to say, call unto me and I will answer you and I'll show you great and mighty things that you could not even think of. I think, Sammy, that's where we've, whenever all circumstances look bleak, that's where we've come and we've just trusted on God's word. Yeah, and I wanted to just say, we offer you hope out there today. Uh, we're not someone here on a pedestal that's never had any problems. We're just like Jim Simbla and, and a pastor. A lot of times we put pastors and people in ministry on pedestals, and, and it's just not that way. We go through our struggles, and there are things beyond us that... And we've fallen. We've yeah. failed our children. We've failed each other. We've failed other people. We've disappointed other people. But God has never, ever failed. Let, let me maybe kind of wrap this up by saying that 
from the very beginning, when, when we got married, we, we gave each other a Bible. Mm -hmm. We read that Bible, we prayed, and we dedicated our marriage to Jesus. I think that's the starting place. But then, even when our kids were in the womb, we prayed, we dedicated them to the Lord then. We tried to live before them in a manner pleasing to the Lord. We failed many times, but I think we've had a pretty transparent relationship in our and we've gone to each other and we've gone back to the kids and said, forgive us, we blew it, we messed up. And, uh, and that has fostered, I think, something that is good. I think our kids, even when they got away, knew the God of my mom and dad is real. Mm -hmm. Even when they got away, I don't think they could ever deny that. The God of my mom and dad is real. And, uh, and, and as we prayed, God was faithful to draw them back. So I, I want to just encourage you. You may be listening to this, and, and my guess is that probably most of you have a child, a grandchild, someone very dear to you that's far away from the Lord. I want to encourage you with what Pastor Jim Simla said. Don't lose hope. Cling to that word that God has given you. Call on the Lord and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean into your own understanding and he will direct your path, and I believe he will bring that child back. It may not even be when you're alive. But that's what happened with my grandmother. I never met my grandmother. I don't know when it will be. I don't know how it will be, but God will prove himself faithful to you. And uh, we're looking forward to next week and sharing again uh, next week the, w about the family and I, I think that we're going to see some wonderful things happen. We'd love to hear from you. If you uh, would, if you would send us a, an email, if there's some areas that you, about family life. Now, this is a pro program, a, a podcast and a webcast about family life. If there's some questions that you would like us to address, write us at legacy, L-E-G-A-C-Y, at sammytippett.org, S-A-M-M-Y-T-I-P-P-I-T.org. Legacy at SammyTippett.org. Send us an email uh, today, this week, and uh, we get some of your questions, and, and we'll address those questions uh, if, if you'll write to us about family life. Uh, we're, we're not experts. We're, not, no, we're, we're just... not psychologists. We're not psychiatrists. We're just a couple who love Jesus, who've been through struggles, and we've seen God faithful. And we'll share with you from person to person, not from professional to person, but person to person, people who are on the journey, just like you're on, and uh, who are seeing God at work. God bless you. We look forward again next week at this same time, 11 o'clock on Wednesday. We'll be back, and we look forward to great things that we'll have to share next week. God bless you.